loves, it's Jay, and welcome to my garden. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing another episode of Jay Cooks. So let's roll up our sleeves, wash our hands, and get ready to do this. In almost every single Caribbean household, you can find this staple dish, and it is... Sancocho! 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 <laughs> So when you make this soup, it's time to crank out the big guns. And by that, you're gonna need a big pot. A really big one. The what? The mama jumbo. <laughs> I think I've only used that pot. Once? <laughs> no, you're wrong. Twice. <laughs> and before we begin, we're missing one thing. Alexa, play some bachata. Bachata music? Playing now on Amazon Music. Ding! <laughs> so I'm currently editing my video and uh, YouTube doesn't have any copyright free bachata songs so we're gonna have to switch things up. Alexa, play some salsa. Got it. The station, salsa, free on Amazon Music. Corn, plantains, potatoes, yuca, pumpkin, carrots, garlic, onions, sopita, cilantro, and of course my marinated beef. So you can totally make your sancocho or your Caribbean beef stew all in one day. But I chose to break it up into two days just because it requires so much work and preparation cutting all the vegetables. Also, the more help you can have, the better. So my husband helped me so much, thank you baby, cutting up a ton of these vegetables. Ready, what are you doing? Yeah, that's that. Yo. That's my dog, I gotta give you that one. That's that campesino lifestyle. our onions, our carrots, and we also marinated our beef. So today I'm going to peel and cut my potatoes and my plantains along with my pumpkin, and then I'm going to start the entire cooking process. So I've already finished slicing, chopping up, peeling all of the veggies that are gonna go inside of my soup. All right, so we're gonna start off by making our beef stock and cooking our beef. So I already coated my pan with olive oil to add in my onions and garlic. All right, so my onions and my garlic are a nice golden color, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my beef. Okay, now that I've added in my beef, I'm just gonna stir that in with my sauteed onions and garlic, and I'm going to wait until all of my beef is cooked. Woo! It's done! All of our beef is cooked. Yummy, look at that stock. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of cilantro. I'm just gonna mix that in. Now it's that time to add in our water. So if at this point your beef or your protein is too salty or it's over salted that's completely fine because all of that salt is gonna get diluted once I add in the water and then we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our veggies when I poured in our water it's a little bit more than halfway on our pot and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my little cube of sopita and I'm just gonna let this come to a boil before I add in my vegetables. Now since our water came to a boil, we're gonna start by adding in our veggies. Potatoes. 
carrots, yuca, pumpkin, give that a stir. I'm also going to wait about an hour before I add in my corn and we're gonna cover it. So all the flavors and all of our vegetables can really cook through. Now I'm going to start adding in the best part for me, which is the corn. Also, shout out to my best friends who taught me to wash your dishes while you cook so that once you finish cooking, you don't have to do any work. So everything should be done. You can enjoy your food and your kitchen will be clean. So definitely clean while you cook. All right, let's see the finished results. Woo! Looking good, looking good. I squeezed a little bit of lime over top of it just so that acidity could really come through but oh my goodness this is falling apart this is literally autumn in a pot look at all those yummy veggies oh my gosh this is gonna be so good can we soak this moment in this soup is amazing required so much work so much love goes into this for me this is the essence of fall it's the essence of our culture and I absolutely love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always if you decide to try it please send me your pictures to our Instagram at him and her homemade also make sure to click that notifications button just so that you're notified every single time we post a video I'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs> I recently discovered that some people do not wash their protein. They don't wash the chicken, they don't wash, wash the beef, they don't wash the pork. And I'm just like, ew. Jay, are you sure you want to offend your audience by telling them some people don't wash it because they think that's Honey, what they that's, think? That's gross though. Yeah, but some people think when you wash it, you're spreading more germs. Right, but like, that's why the vinegar is killing it. Salmonella poisoning is real. That's fine, but people, some people, they, that's how they believe, what they believe. You can't be attacking people you believe like that. Alright, if you don't want to watch, but Fred, no, you're making a soup. Right. I don't know. You're making a soup and a stock. Right. Like, you cannot, no, no. Fred. Yes. <laughs> Look at this little piece. <laughs> I had this strap on my head, but I don't think I'm into it. Off to the next recipe.